Oh, sorry, I didn't see you guys there. So, as you can tell, I am completely bare-faced. Nice dark circles, nice lack of eyebrows happening, um, but it's okay. This is what I look like. I'm going to be testing out, I have used some of these products already because they didn't all come in at the same time, but I'm going to be using all of the products I bought during Black Friday sales. So with that being said, let's get started. Here we go. So first I'm going to prime with the Fenty Beauty Primer. Um, I did buy this on Black Friday, but it wasn't on sale. I just really wanted it, so I did the thing. I bought it. I'm just going to take a little bit on my fingers and rub it into the whole face because this is more of a moisturizing primer because that's what my face needs. So you can put it on your whole face. If you wanted to color correct, which I like to a lot, I would do it now, but I don't have color corrector at the moment because I need a new one, but here's where you would color correct. I did order this brush from Morphe on Black Friday. It's the Y6 Foundation Flat Top Brush, which Laura Lee swears by, which is why I ordered it because I want to see what the hype's all about for her. Just going to go in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. What I like to do with my foundation is honestly just like, I like to put dots of it all over my face, especially under my eyes because that's where I need help. Like for real, for real. Once you have dots of foundation everywhere, like, like it's chicken pox or something, now, I'm gonna try out this new brush and see what I think. It helps if you are gonna use a brush on your face that you dab it around instead of um, brushing it like this because when you brush it like that you get brush strokes um, on your foundation and your base makeup which makes it streaky. I mean, I quite like the way this blended out. I used to have a, I mean, I still have it, but I used to use one of the flat foundation brushes and it was okay, but it was more so to just like put the foundation onto the skin. It didn't really blend it out very well. So I'd always go back in with my beauty blender. Um, actually my Real Techniques sponge. Um, after I use the brush to get rid of any streaks which it doesn't seem like I need to do with this foundation now that the face blended out um, I'm going to be using this new concealer I got on Black Friday this Maybelline Master Conceal concealer <laughs> from Ulta um, Maybelline stuff was buy one get one 50% off. So I had a friend recommend this concealer to me. So what I like to do is put it, I like to warm everything up on my finger or my hands first. So I just put some on my finger, you know, and then I like to just do kind of what I did for the, um, the foundation it under my eye and kind of spread it out onto this cheekbone a little bit. Yeah. And you can also kind of, if you go onto your nose a little bit, um, when once you contour your nose, it helps bring out the contour. And then I put it down my nose and on the edge of my nose like that. And then on my forehead. Just the spots that you want to be lightened, brightened up, and on my chin. And then I 
got, where did my brush go? Oh, it's in here. I got this stippling brush from ColourPop. Um, the brushes were not on sale, but I figured while I was ordering other things, I would order this brush while I was at it because I heard it was really nice to blend out concealer and I wanted to try it. So I did. Um, and with this, you just again dab back and forth under your eyes to blend it out. It helps if you look up a little bit so you don't like poke yourself in the eye, you know, and so that you can get in all of your creases. I don't know about you guys, but I naturally crease under my eye. I don't know if you can tell. It's really unfortunate. I really don't like it, but what can you do? It's how I was born, how I was made. Okay then, so now that that's all blended out, the next step would be to set your under eyes with powder. I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, I didn't get any new stuff for this, but I gotta do it, so I'm gonna do it. So while that is setting, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I am super excited because I got this new Morphe eyebrow pencil. They just started making them not that long ago and they're only $5. I heard they're a pretty good dupe for Anastasia Beverly Hills Precise, what is it called? Precision Brow? No, precisely. No, that's benefit. Whatever the Anastasia one's called, that's like the thin one. Um, this is the almond, the shade almond. This is the micro brow pencil in the shade almond. I can't, oh, there we go. And it has a little spoolie brush on the end. So. Let's see, let's hope it's my shade too, because I ordered it online. It might be too light. Please don't be too light. Oh my gosh, that is way too light. Hello? It's like orange. No, guys. Guys, look. Look at that color. Do you see that? It's literally orange. Why is it orange? That would never match my eyebrows. Why? I was so excited. I'm hurt. We're gonna try it anyway. And if it's too light, we'll go in with dark powder. So, I just like to outline under. Oh no, we, we truly can't try it anyway. It's orange. I'm shook. Why is almond orange? That's so rude. I need dark brown. Hello? I I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and we'll be right back. Are you kidding? No! Why is this whole video a flop? Guys, when I pointed at you with my Anastasia brow definer, the whole pencil came off. There was like, can this focus? There was still pencil sticking out of there and it, it flew off. <sighs> oh, hold on. Moment of truth, moment of realization. I totally forgot. I bought a mini Bren Brenefit? Mini Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which I think I need shade four, but the mini ones only come in shade three, so I don't really understand why, but whatever, we have a pencil to use, and it's gotta be closer to my eyebrows than freaking almond. 
disrespect. Okay, so now that the brows are on and I look like a totally different person, also probably look a little crazy because I don't have eyelashes either, but it's fine. Um, I finished filling them in with the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade 3, the mini one. Um, and then I put powder over them because it was a little too light for my taste. It kind of matched more of the ends of my hair rather than my roots, and I like my brows to match my roots. And um, I also think the powder just helps them to set and to stay much better, and they look fuller and more defined, all of that. But now we're going to clean up the brows with some new stuff I got. I got this little angled brush from Morphe, not even out of the package yet. This is brush M160, small angled brush. And I also got this B19 from Morphe, which is a flat, small concealer brush. This is the brush I'm gonna to use to clean up the edges of my eyebrows. I'm gonna go back in with the Maybelline Master Conceal to do that. So that is that on the brows. I'm not mad at the fact that the pencil's a little too light because I like to define with the pencil first and then put powder over anyway. So as long as I can get them here, that's what matters. Um, okay, so I just contoured um, lightly in my cheek, under my cheekbones, um, down here on my jawline, on my nose, and on my forehead, and right underneath my lips. So, if you want a full tutorial on a full face, I can do that another time, but I'm trying to focus this video mainly on things I got on Black Friday. I didn't get too many things for eye makeup, but I will show you what I got. I got this little kit from Tarte, it's kind of hard to tell because the plastic, there we go. I got this little kit from Tarte, it comes with a mini, um, a mini mascara, this is a double sided glitter liner with like a metallic glitter on one, a metallic liner on one side and a glitter liner on the other, a pair of lashes and lash glue. I was considering buying a full size mascara for um, $10, but this was $22 and came with other things I thought I would use. Um, I tried out the mascara already and I hate it. It's the tardiest lash paint. It just felt very clumpy and heavy on my eyelids and my eyelashes. At one point in the day I was blinking and I could see and feel my eyelashes like hanging down in my eyes. So I didn't notice that issue as much when I wore it when I curled my lashes, but that day I didn't curl my lashes, which often I don't have time for when I'm going to school. So I'm kind of disappointed that I went with this instead of with a full size mascara because I really bought it for the mascara and I don't like the mascara. I have tried the glitter liner on my and swatch, swatching it. The two sides of the liner, um, the metallic kind of white gold and then the white gold sparkles. I also got this Butter London Eye Gloss. I got it in the shade Unicorn because I just liked all the pretty sparkles. So it's not what I expected because the sample was very dry, like the sample was clearly dried out now that I'm looking at this, but I liked it because it went on really thick with the sparkles. This is like a liquid gel cream, I don't even know, it's like jelly, like when I shake it, it shakes on the inside. So I don't know if you can see what's happening here, but so that's that. It is really pretty. And then the last thing that I bought on Black Friday were ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips because I love me an ultra satin or velvet formula. I am going to swatch these on my arm for you and show you a close up. Park. It's one of their best sellers. It's this true pink color, true like, nude pink. On me it's kind of like your lips but better. Like It's very similar to what my actual lip color is. This is called 951. Um, it's a little bit more of a mauve kind of pink, a little more dark toned to it. Um, this one is called, let me double check the name, oh, it's called Freaking Frack. 
Um, I don't know how to describe this one. It's kind of like a berry pink. And then this is Ambush, which is a true bright red, blue undertone, true red. And this is called Prim, which is a burgundy maroon. Definitely, it's not like purple undertone. It's just like a really deep red. She got I also got this eyeshadow blending brush from Colourpop, which I have used and I definitely really like. So that is everything I got on Black Friday slash Cyber Monday. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this little haul slash mini tutorial. If you did, please give a big thumbs up down below. Also subscribe. Press it. Press it. Subscribe. Subscribe. Tell your friends. You already know. And leave a comment about your favorite thing that you got on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I really would like to know. That is all for today. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. I'm sweating. Why can't I be comfortable? Oh, I thought I ripped my shorts. Hello. How many times can you say mascara in one sentence? The mascara. But just kidding. We're not playing that game again. Which color? No, uh, duty.